Hey, Yarnabies! It is me, Sandy. Ta-da! I finally got my room done today. <laughs> Still have a few things that I need to do, but for the most part, it's ready to go. So, yay! So, I had a bit of a day. Um, yeah, a bit of a day. <laughs> Uh, doing this room was a little more work than I thought it was going to be, but it's done. Yay. See, I've got all my cards and everything that everybody's given me up here. I don't know if you can see the little lights. It's probably too bright in here still. And then I got my fireplace back here, which I don't have on right now. Which, I don't even know, don't even know if you can see it. Nope, can't see it. <laughs> Oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got this all dealt with, and uh, yeah, so I got a frantic phone call from my daughter Tia. She got into her first car accident today. She's okay. It was a minor fender bender. Uh, she was in a construction zone and some idiot came up behind her really fast and rear-ended her. Uh, got out of her his truck and started yelling at her and, you know, calling her a stupid newbie driver and all that. And she was the one doing the speed limit in the construction zone and he was the one being the ass. So she was crying and freaking out. And he was yelling at her, and he took her information, and then took off. Didn't give her his information or anything, and she was such a mess that she she didn't know what to do. So she called me, <clears throat> told her to go to ICBC. It's his fault. He rear-ended you, you know, and tried to calm her down. And but uh, so she's got a claim in, and we'll see how it goes. So I was a little bit worried about her, uh, but as long at least she's okay, um, and hopefully the guy puts in a claim and gives the information, and then they will know who he is. So I I remember what happened the first time I had my car accident. I was a mess too. I just I feel for her, but probably not going to be the only one she ever gets into unfortunately and she's got to learn right so uh so anyways um what's in my cup today i figured because i did such a good job on my room that i deserve to have a little drink <laughs> and also because i'm starting my keto soon like well, sort of, now I'm going to kind of ease my way into it. Last time I went into keto, I went full bore, and it did me no favors. <laughs> so I'm going to take it slow this time. So I am drinking. Oop. You see that? There we go. It's called Nude. And it is strawberry kiwi. And it's unsweetened. And it has no nothing in it. It has zero, 100 calories, zero fat, zero carbohydrate, zero sugar, zero protein. Um, I believe it's sweetened with um, stevia or something. Oh, it says this one's unsweetened. Right. So yeah, there's absolutely nothing in this. The alcohol content is 5%, just like a beer. Um, and I put, because it, on its own, it doesn't really taste wonderful. So I put in some um, Cherry Mio. This is, well, this is the generic brand of Mio. It's just a flavored water, uh, water flavoring, I should say. And this doesn't have anything in it either. It's zero fat, zero carbohydrate, zero protein, zero calories, you know. So these are really good to have around. Um, some, if I drink this on its own, 
it will actually give me acid reflux but um, if I put it in something like this then it's not so bad it just kind of just takes a little kick off it so um, so yeah so this is this is a keto friendly drink and there's actually a lot of alcoholic beverages out there now that are for keto so yay so that's my life now bacon and keto friendly alcohol <laughs> yay <laughs> so but anyways um let me show you a little bit around the room it's not totally done yet okay so you know <laughs> okay let's let's check it out okay so all of this is the yarn that I'm selling this is all wool it's one of those things that I can't touch <laughs> and this is all this is ice yarns and then I have a whole bunch over here this is um, <sighs> Hobie yarns here. This is actually reflected the reflective yarn, so uh, it, you can make dog coats out of it, and it it reflect reflects the light. So yeah, I don't know if you can see that. No, I can't. <clears throat> so so we've got all of this. Oops, sorry, Bailey. I just stepped on my dog. <laughs> We have all of this. And then I've got some bamboo, some cotton, some angora. I've got merino wool. And then this is just, oh, I love this yarn. <laughs> this is gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. This is the Illusions yarn. Oh, just love it. And this is the chenille in black and gray. See, I made a chenille hat out of it. And I've got bags of other yarn. This is the tiger, oops, tiger yarn. And I have a bunch more down there. And this is all of my, <clears throat> this is not for sale. Well, it could be, I guess. But this is my Scooty yarn. This is all the fur that I've got. Oops, so oh, <laughs> oops, breaking things here. So if you're um, making the scooty and you're interested in some um, some fur, if you can't find it, I have some, so I can sell it to you. So that's all my sale for sale yarn. This is my new filming station. This is where I'm going to be sitting. This is going to be where I'm going to be doing my tutorials. I have to get my camera and everything set up here. And don't look at this corner. This corner is still a mess. <laughs> and then here's my some of my stash. It's got, I've got all of my velvets over here. I got my yip yip. <laughs> got my rainbow yarns here. And then if you come over here, I have all my totes of my big balls of yarn. And then I have my totes of all of my Karen cakes are in here and I I got smart and I started making balls <laughs> so 
I've got all of that full of yarn. So I actually, really, when I think about it, I don't have as much yarn as I thought I did. <laughs> so Bailey has made herself at home. She's intently looking at her ball. <laughs> as soon as I say ball, she's like, what? What? Ready? Ready? Get it. Get it. <laughs> so I think she's going to be hanging out in here a lot. <laughs> So that's it. So that's my yarn, my little yarn nest that I've got going on now. I've got lots of natural light coming in here, so it's going to be really good for filming. Um, when I had my craft room up here, sometimes the, there was too much light, so filming wasn't as good as I would have liked. But I'm going to work on it. I'm going to try and put some sheer curtains in here or something and uh, see if that helps. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just glad it's done. And believe it or not, there's a sink in this, in this room. <laughs> this was the craft sink. <laughs> and so when I did all my painting and um, all my power tech stuff, it was so nice to have that sink in here, but now I don't need it, so it's just there. <laughs> but anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you today. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so if you're interested in any of this yarn, let me know. Leave a comment down below or, or email me. It would probably be better. And... Uh, yeah, I will be doing a featured yarn like I used to. Um, so if you see anything here that you're interested in, just let me know and I will pull it out. And when I do my vlog, I will show it to you and uh, I will tell you all about it. Okay, so you guys have a great night or day or whatever it is where you're at. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye.